What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your boy KO. Today we are starting. We are here in Tuscaloosa. Picking up at what's this place called? Tamco Building Products. It is singles. So uh y'all already know quick and easy load. Um I see WTI Boyd and what's over there? McElroy. Trailer's already out here, so the big Elroys, they not loaded. But the Boyd and the WTI trailers over there, they already loaded. So when you come in, you go across the scale, grab your empty weight, and then you just follow the signs all the way around. You'll come around parking this dirt lot, and you'll go to that building. I don't think y'all can see it. Oh yeah, you can see it. Um, the little thing with the red around it, that's the QR code. You scan the QR code, and you can put in your information that way, or it has a phone number you can text, and do it like that that's what I did I text um, put in all my information and now I'm just waiting for them to tell me where to go um, there's a WTI drive-in right here I you know they do drive in at WTI uh, he got a headache right but he got a drive in um, so maybe that's a special thing I see they got a lot of WTI so I guess this up but that's a WTI right there that's a Freightliner Classic, that thing nice. That's a WTI. This truck right next to me is a WTI. And that truck over there is a WTI. So uh, yeah, it's a WTI party over here. So I guess this one of uh, WTI's um, main contracts, which is cool, because hey, y'all got it made there, because shingles is easy, so hold on, y'all. What's up, brother? What's on, man? Yeah, it's right there. You can either scan that code or you can text the number on there. No problem, bro. So, so um, he's checking in. But other than that, that's all you got to do here. So we're picking this load up and we've taken it, uh, taking this load to, I want to say Suwanee, Suwanee, Georgia, to some place called Daily Storage. It's a uh, shingles uh, warehouse, um, well, yard, um, right outside of Atlanta. So we're going to get that over there. It's 234 loaded miles, so quick and easy. Uh, I'll get there right now. If I was to leave, so I'll get there at 3. But they say they stop loading at 2.30, and in front of you, through the light, even if you get there, they won't take you. So, But once I get loaded or something else happens, I'll give you guys an update. So stay tuned, y'all. Uh, so about an hour and a half, they finally gave me a text. I guess they started to clear out that lot finally of all the trucks. Cause man, that thing packed up. They got like 15 trucks over there. But hey, for y'all boys that say flatbeds don't back, y'all crazy as hell. These, they got dock doors <laughs> or dock ramps, should I say. Look how much room is in between. I'm gonna come up close so y'all can see this. And people be quick to say flatbed drivers don't bag. I can barely even get my fist in between there. And I got a little ass head. So, <laughs> for the people that say flatbed boys don't back, we don't do it often. But when we do, we get her done, boys. Alright, so this place is a good one, though. Y'all yeah, know some of these shingle places y'all go to, you gotta freaking get up there and turn the shingles all the same direction so you can put your edge protectors and not have to worry about the shit going somewhere. Nah, this place they actually, when the Fort Lift driver comes out, he had, it was two guys here, I'm pretty sure y'all seen them when I was in court. Oh, they right there. Those two guys, they, they turning it so it's all facing the same direction. So when you put your edge protectors, it's already facing this way, so it'll block. You ain't gotta worry about getting up there and turning it. Yo, shout out to this place, because most places do not do that. I know when I went to the other place out here in Tuscaloosa, they ain't do that. So I had to get up there and turn every single one of them. It's just inconvenient, honestly, you know what I'm saying? Because you could be done a lot quicker, but hey, we getting loaded now. Once you done here, I got a sign that said no strapping down in the parking lot, so they don't want you strapping over here. You gotta go back to the orange lot where I came from, and uh, you gotta scan the barcode on your phone, and it'll print your paperwork. So, 
uh, that's where you got to strap down at too. So I'm gonna go over there, strap down, get this junk done real quick. I'm knocking out a two hour break anyway, because remember I did an eight, uh, eight two. So uh, I needed to do the two hours. Not that I really need to, because I only got a, what, two and a half hour drive. So I would have made it regardless. So, but we're gonna go ahead and get it done anyway. Uh, that way I can leave first thing tomorrow morning, go get this load delivered and see if we get anything else. If not, I'll be off until next week. So uh, I'll give you guys an update when I get over. y'all completely done y'all already know the routine man y'all done seen me do shingles man time two one 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 and two uh way at the back so uh everything is secured i realized that i lost the thing of freaking bungee this on me when i when i was at my last pickup not pickup my last delivery i had the bungees i put them on the side of the trailer and i'm, like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab them when i put the tarp up definitely left them and uh they ain't there no more so yep definitely just lost a good thing uh probably about 20 30 bungees just right then so <sighs> got to be more careful then you got a dickhead who parked right here in front of me mind you space right there all that space on the side of me in this space oh, let me park in front of the fucking truck and throw my shots right here this shit I be talking about, bro. <laughs> shit, shit I be talking about, bro. I don't understand. But then if I go say something, I'd be wrong for saying something. But you the idiot that parked right in front of me. Like you couldn't just park on the side of me. Or you could park on that side of me. No, let me park right in front of him. And I don't know if I'm going to get out because that WTI driver probably is about to pull right in that spot. <sighs> yeah, he definitely is. Uh, yeah, it should be interesting. I'm gonna try to get out right here. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm finna go straight to the gas station, give me something to drink, something to eat, because I have nothing on my truck no more besides milk, and I'm, I don't want that. So, <laughs> we'll get some food, get something to drink, and then I got 193 miles to get to where I'm parking at for the night, and then we'll see what happens from there. So, I'll catch up with y'all. Oh, you have to go up front to get your bills. I'll show y'all that when I get up there. All right, y'all, so you come back to the front. This is the entrance. That's the scale right there. You just park on the side. I parked on the side right there. I don't know if that's where you're supposed to park, but that's where I'm gonna park. Uh, and then ship and receiving office. So you gotta go scan the code and all that great jazz. So everything is self-check in and self-check out. So I guess they said we don't wanna be bothered with nobody, you know what I'm saying? I don't blame them though. Shit, you ain't gotta deal with nothing. Only thing sucks is these computers have an issue. They'll ask screws. So. Uh, he's talking to somebody now. No strapping down, parking lot. Let me get this paperwork, yo. Alright, y'all. We got our paperwork. So this load is 46,980 pounds. So they receiving out 7 to 2. That's why I can't make it today because it's 12.49 over here. But that is... Uh, I'm on Central Time, going back to Eastern Time, so we'll make it tomorrow. We'll be there at seven. Get this load off the trailer, and uh, if they don't give me nothing short, then uh, we'll be done for the week. Get rested up and be prepared for next week. I think I'm either come back on uh, Monday, maybe Monday. If not Tuesday, I'll be out Tuesday morning. But I'm aiming for Monday, so we'll see what happens, y'all. Y'all see that thing strapped up? Hey, y'all see it? Y'all see it? Hey, y'all see Big Red? Hey, this Big Red, I done had Big Red for a year now, y'all. Forgot to tell y'all that. It's been a whole year since I got this truck. So, and now we might be moving on to a new truck. We gonna see what happens with that. I'm gonna catch up with y'all. All right, y'all. So, we all had the TA. I told y'all I was coming. First thing I seen, boy. 
TA, they got a quick trip. I was gonna go to the quick trip, but TA got Popeyes and Taco Bell. Uh, I think I'm gonna just get some Popeyes, honestly. I was gonna go get my truck washed. Blue Beacon is right there, but that damn line is all the way to the road. I don't need the truck wash that damn bad. I'm not about to sit there and wait. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So, we just gonna get some Popeyes. Enjoy some something quick and keep it moving, man. Cause I wanna get over here and get part. I was gonna go to the gym today, but I'm like, man, I could go tomorrow cause I ain't gonna be doing anything. I go tomorrow, I go Friday, Saturday, I go the whole weekend. So, I'll get the gym. I'll get my, I normally try to aim for at least three days a week. So, I'll get what? Tomorrow's Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, so I get four days. So we in now. Catch up with y'all. Yo, team. What's up, y'all? We out here in Atlanta. Um, I did stop I think it was maybe it was Georgia it might have been Alabama still Stopped at the Loves over there took a shower um, they had like seven people in line so it took me a little minute um, and then one of my subscribers called me had some questions shout out to him so I was on the phone I was on the phone for like two hours so the people who say I don't talk to my supporters I do call if you need me to call you it might not be right away because he asked me to call him hours ago but of course i was driving this shit so once i got parked um there waiting on the shower i was talking to him then so shout out to him gave him some insight some info that he was looking for so but we part now we are 51 miles away from my delivery so Y'all already know Atlanta ain't got a lot of truck stops. So, and this is on the East Atlanta side. There's only a pilot over there. And that pilot, if you already know, it ain't that big. So that thing be packed. So I ain't even gonna waste my time going over there. So I'm part of my little spot. There's another little spot I got in Atlanta. This one. All right, check this out. I told y'all somebody got the last spot. This spot. I don't know a hundred percent, a hundred percent sure. No one knows where I'm parked at. The only, the only little hint you gonna get is right here. <laughs> That's all you gonna see. A hundred dollars to anybody who can guess where I am parked at in Atlanta. I ain't giving no hints this time. See if you can figure it out though. Should I give you a hint? Actually, I'll give you a hint. I am, let me see, North. I'm in West Atlanta. That's the only hint I'm gonna give you. See if you can figure it out. If you know me, I'm not gonna give it to you <laughs> because you know where I'm at. So the first person that emails me the correct answer, I got you, $100 on me this one i don't think nobody gonna get for sure unless you know me because i've told you about this spot you know what i'm saying or if you're in the atlanta area and i told you about it yeah this one of them ones for real i only found out about no nah, i can't even tell y'all too much because then y'all might guess it anyway <laughs> i'm about to kick back i got myself on post trip now um about to kick back probably turn on my tv i ain't watch my tv in a hot little second and um yeah go from there oh payroll payroll this week um my gross was for $4,600 and my take home was $3,900 but keep in mind I told y'all I did get a referral that was from when love was working here so that $1,500 came from that so my paycheck would have been $2,400 so keep in mind, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't like to give and have y'all thinking that I'm out here making all this money on it. No, that's why, because of that referral. So I would have had a $2,400 check. But remember, I only did two loads because of that storm. I didn't get to deliver that Friday load until Monday. So that's not bad. $2,400 for two loads, that's definitely not bad. 1,900 miles, yeah, that's not, that's not a bad, horrible week. 
so my gross was 46, 1900 miles, 19 and 19. Yeah, it's not bad, so could have been better, but hey, it is what it is. I'll take it. But um, just want to check in with you guys. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna get my time back at 5:45. We ain't waking up that early. Oh, we might. I think they open at seven. Yeah, we might. We might just wake up at that time and uh, go ahead and get up out of here because. I ain't trying to deal with all that traffic. Atlanta traffic, if you know, you know. <laughs> Pretty sure everybody that's a truck driver, even if you ain't a truck driver, you know about Atlanta traffic. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and get around that thing early and get that load delivered, and I'll probably be done for the week. But uh, just wanna update y'all. I'm gonna order me some food. We'll catch up with y'all in the morning. Peace. What's up y'all so we made it out here um what's this place called Sewanee Georgia out here I think it's called dealer's choice um shingles yard I guess that's all they sell here that's all I see um as y'all see or cannot see got one that's a Sheldon truck in front of me there's another truck right there I don't know exactly what that truck is so that they are already unstrapped so both of them so we're gonna go ahead get these straps loosened up and put away and get prepared to get unloaded like i told y'all i have to be off tomorrow so i don't know if i'm getting another load or not i personally doubt it but you never know i might have something short to do today but I'm gonna go with this gonna be my last little for the week <laughs> so it is what it is man it is what it is hope y'all having a good day it's currently Thursday 7 30 in the morning I started driving at like a little after about almost 6 30 took me a, exactly an hour to get here so it won't take too long this place i don't know if you could park it overnight i want to say maybe if there's no trucks that you could probably park right here in front of the gate that's the gate right there so, i mean you could fit one truck here yeah i would say like one maybe two trucks but that's about it so yeah I wouldn't really risk it for the biscuit at this place. Hey, it's, it's up to you on that one. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish unstrapping this and uh, I'm gonna catch up with y'all when I get unloaded. So we unstrap, uh, put all my little thing called edge detectors up, all my straps in the middle. Uh, I seen a dude do it the other day, I thought it was pretty cool. He took a bungee, put it from this end to this end to hold them in place. I was like, yo, I'm gonna do that. The back ones I can't do that because they have that nail in it. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give me some tools. I know I've been saying I'm gonna get some tools for a while, but I'm really, I actually had tools and 
I don't know what happened to them things. I think I'm gonna keep it a whole buckle. I have no clue what happened to them tools. So I need to go give you a new tool set. Cause right here, they got this this bolt right here. It's probably like a 10. Uh I don't know what it is on the back side, but if I can take this off, I can pull this through, then I'll be able to slide this. Uh, I think there's two. Oh, there's one in the back. So that back strap, I can't move it from where it's at. So definitely gonna do that. Actually, I'll probably do that when I get parked today because now I think about it, there's a Harbor Freight literally where I park at. So if I remember, y'all know my mom being a million places, I'm gonna get a toolbox and I'm gonna take these out. So that's gonna be the mission on both sides because it limits me from being able to use that back one past where it's at so i don't like that so we're gonna get some tools for that also i need to get that sandpaper uh someone told me in one of my older videos that i can use sandpaper right here on these these magnets because as you see yeah it probably makes sense because these magnets here you can barely see the magnet yeah so i need to get sandpaper too so we're gonna try to get that done today and if I do do that today, y'all already know. I'll record it for y'all. Y'all see my chunks. I'm about to eat one of these things because I'm hungry. We still ain't got no food. Unfortunately, I got this free monster that they gave me. Uh, what, what was it, last week when they had the driver appreciation? I saw I got to drink on the truck, man. <laughs> so, this thing is pretty much full. I literally only took a couple sips because my mouth was so damn dry. Even after brushing my teeth, my mouth still was dry. But maybe it was three trucks because this truck pulled up, but he stopped right there. So I assumed there was another truck that I just couldn't see. We're about to find out. Uh, I don't see another truck, so I'm not really sure why he stopped right here. Maybe you have to go check in or something. We're going to see. Let me go check. All right, y'all. So y'all see unloading me I think we almost done we got a few got a few more pallets to go so I've been here I think for about an hour now so not too long man crazy uh, I'm currently yeah, I'm the only truck now so after those other two trucks left it's just been me so hey but uh like I thought uh, I don't think I'm getting another I haven't heard from my manager so once I leave here I'm just going ahead and go park um Hit the gym. Uh, I gotta get some food first because I ain't eating nothing besides the little uh, chomps, little beef stick thing, and I'm still hungry. That shit ain't do nothing. <laughs> but the only food I got on my truck is noodles, and um, yeah, that ain't healthy, so we probably not gonna eat that. We mm, could try to get something else. Oh, I can, I, mean, I can drink a protein shake, but it's not really gonna take away my hunger. I'm still gonna be hungry. We'll see. We'll figure something out before we go to the gym. I don't like not eating before I go to the gym because I be feel like I'm past the fuck out. So we ain't finna do that. We gonna we gonna get something to eat for sure. Even if I gotta walk across the street, they got a uh, uh, what's that thing called? Quick trip across the street. If I gotta go grab me some. Hey, we'll do it. Uh, I don't know why they load unload like this because he unloads it here. And then y'all see it up and he's taking it over there so i'm just like i feel like it's better to just have me pull out on the road right there and then back up on that little sidewalk right there and then he just take it off the truck you know what I'm um, that's just my thought but i guess i guess not it is what it is um it don't matter to me <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna go gym and like i said there's a harbor freight right there so i'm gonna go see if i can get a toolbox and uh sandpaper i think harbor free sells sandpaper i think i'm not 100 sure um if they do i'm gonna get that try to sand that down and then hopefully that'll fix that issue um i might go look at some trucks tomorrow what's today thursday tomorrow possibly um so if i do y'all already know i bring my camera or i record some kind of how even if i have to do it on my phone I'll uh, get some footage and at least show you all the trucks that's at whatever dealership I go to. I know they got a few out here in Atlanta. Um, I was looking at select trucks yesterday. They actually had one that I like. It's a T680 uh, 20... I want to say a 20, 2020. I, I think it was. All black. Um, it has a Cummins motor in it. And it has an APU. So y'all already know I love having 
driving, I, I'd rather have an APU um, versus idle in my truck all day. Um, and I think they wanted 50, 55 for it. I think it had like four, I forgot the exact mileage. I knew it was in the fours though, um, for 55, so I'm like, dang. But it's all the way in Oklahoma. I'm like, yeah. All the way in freaking Oklahoma, so I'll have to go all the way to Oklahoma to even check out the truck and make sure I even like the truck and all that. Um, it has a longer wheelbase. Freightliner wheelbase, I believe, is 223. If I'm not mistaken, or 221, I think it's 223, and KW's is 233, so um, we get that extra space back there, which I'd rather have, so, but we'll see, we'll see what happens, I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen, so, who knows, I don't think I'm gonna get another Freightliner, I mean, I like my Freightliner, don't get me wrong, I love my truck, you know, it had its little issues when I first got it, we got that all worked out, um, it's been a little simple stuff, but, I like my baby. If, if push comes to shove, we'll just keep the truck and we'll just keep trucking, you know what I'm saying? So, but I would like to get some other trucks. But I don't really want to flee at the same time, so. <laughs> it's hard to trust other drivers driving your equipment because you already know, man. That's just like having company drivers. Company drivers not going to take care of you. Well, I ain't going to say all company drivers because some company drivers take pride in their equipment, you know what I'm saying? I was one of them. Have a good one. So, thank you, man. Have a good one. So, uh, I was one of those that took pride in, well, I wasn't really a company driver, I was a lease driver, so I took pride in my truck, though. Let me go ahead, uh, let me put this y'all down, but I took pride in my truck, so, you know, getting it washed and making sure the inside is clean and all that, not hitting curbs and tearing shit up like that I took pride in my truck even though it wasn't mine but not everybody's gonna be that way a lot of people are not that way they look at it as shit it ain't my truck so they don't care so that's what you unfortunately have to have to take that risk so that'd be the main reason why I'd be like mm, do I really want to get a truck and have well start a fleet if everybody was trustworthy, it'll be a lot easier, but you know, people ain't. Man. I don't know if I want to deal with that, but as y'all see, he handed me my paperwork, so we all done here, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the pictures of this load, go park up. If I do anything, I record it. If not, got you. Remember, $100 for anybody who could tell me where I was parked at in West Atlanta. $100, man. I got you. I'll let y'all know if somebody gets it or not. I personally, this one I'm like 99.9% .9 sure nobody knows where that spot is at. Like, legitly. So, because I've never, it's rarely even trucks there. So, for me to think, it, especially flatbeds. I ain't never no flatbeds there. I'm the only flatbed since I started doing flatbed that be parked over there. So, and no company trucks. It's normally like owner ops that know about that spot. So, it's one of those if you know, you know. So, and again, I'm not gonna tell y'all where it's at, even if somebody does get it right. I just tell you they got it right. But um, anyway, y'all, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Oh, before I end out this video, that place out there in Biter, Texas, uh, somebody was like, you didn't get help um, because um, it's sundown town. I actually heard that after the fact. Um, I think that same day, that night, I heard, um, I think I was talking to my own girl, she was like, She's like, where you picked up from? I was like, by the text, and she's like, bro, you know that's a sundown town. I'm like, hell no, nah, I ain't know. <laughs> I mean, luckily, I was there during the day. Uh, I know the, I know somebody else comment said they trying to change their image, but who knows? I mean, the people I was dealing with were actually black, so I don't know. <laughs> most, of the, most of the people there were black, except the people that was in the office. So I don't know if it's a sundown town, don't sundown towns. I like black people so I don't know I don't know how that works uh, personally I don't really get into that stuff but hey you gotta be aware of your surroundings so I guess I gotta start checking this stuff before I go to these places but uh, anyway y'all I'm gonna catch up with y'all in the next video like comment subscribe I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one peace